Hello once again our most valued student my name is Confident and welcome to our second session on calculating KC and we already looked at this KC expression and this was for the Houting exam for pre, uh, the Houting prelim and uh, we did look at this 20 marks all right so if you're joining us for the first time ensure that you get hold of that video now we are going to look at the Mpumalanga one and I'm tempted to combine this Mpumalanga one with the Eastern Cape one. So stay tuned so that you can see how this KC could have been approached. These are good ways for you guys to prepare for your final exam. So let's look at this question here. KC involved um, it says um, 10 grams of hydrogen gas and three five five grams of chlorine gas are heated together in a sealed 500 cubic centimeter container a chemical equilibrium is reached at that the balanced equation for the reaction then they give us this the equilibrium constant kc for this reaction at this is that calculate the mass of chlorine gas present at equilibrium i like it that it was straight to kc so since they want they're interested in kc i always say um let's look at these they first gave me a few things here, which um, I need to change it to moles. You must always convert things to moles. Moles. Look at this. 10 grams. Okay, I can have my rice table. Whenever I'm dealing with KC first, I can have my rice table. So what's the equation again? Look at this. It's hydrogen plus chlorine is 2. Um, so I can have my rice here to say, in as much as I have my hydrogen, which is gas, plus chlorine which is gas to give me you see it's going forward more than it is going at the beginning remember this is at the beginning so it gives me what 2 hcl which is also a gas so now i can have my rice table to say have uh let me use something different have that actually list i need not to limit my space so i can have this quickly divide this okay divide this and divide this and then have my uh i think you can see what i'm trying to get it we've done this uh, previously i think it must be five the last one let me see that this is my rice so let me write this as my rice means ratio and then i rice initial moles you guys know about this now and then rice c for rice change in moles and then e for the rice equilibrium moles please don't write equilibrium like that and then lastly is equilibrium let me write it equilibrium concentration and you know what is equilibrium concentration I apply my formula c is equal to moles over volume you need to get this from your formulas are you with me now this is the whole part of kc but before that they gave us some information which must apply. Let's look at the information. 10 grams of hydrogen gas and 355 grams of chlorine. So I need to convert. A sealed, this is the beginning when they give you this statement here. 10 grams of that and this of that. They are sealed and heated. So this is initially at the beginning. Both sides, initially. This is at the beginning. So you take 10 grams of hydrogen and you say to yourself, okay, let me take my 10 grams of H2, convert it to moles. What is the moles? N of hydrogen is equal to what? M small m over big M. Mass over molar mass. Now what is the mass? They told you is 10 grams over what is the molar mass of hydrogen remember hydrogen is one so it's one times two so it's 10 over 2 which is five moles are you seeing that that's what you're going to put here initially you're going to have for hydrogen five are you with me no 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 it's 
it's initial moles is five. Oh, I forgot to use the ratio. The ratios are already given. Let me check what it did, but this is already balanced. You can see hydrogen plus this. So the ratios are simple. There's a hidden one, one, and two. Where is the one? One molecule, one mole of chlorine, and one mole of hydrogen. They are from the balanced equation, remember? And then what about the mass of chlorine? 355 grams. So I come here and say, okay, uh, let's look at 355 grams of Cl2. Again, moles of Cl2 is equal to small m over molar mass, which is what? 355. Now, remember chlorine. What is it? One chlorine atom is 35,5. Now there are two. We multiply by two, which is what? Uh, 35,5 times two, it will give me um, 35,5. It gives me what? 71. So this is 71 grams per mole. I think that that's the molar mass. 71 grams per mole. So when you do that, 35,5 divided by what? By 71. And then here 355 divided by 71. What is it? I did wrong. Okay. 355 over 71. It's 5. So again, 5 moles of chlorine. So you come here, okay? It also gives us 5. But initially, when you start, you cannot have products. You know, you can start and already have your product. Picture it, you are cooking, guys. You cannot start mixing your ingredients, for example, for a cake. You can't start mixing the ingredients for the cake, for example. What do you have in your cake? In a cake, you have got sugar, you have got salt, you have got eggs, etc. So you cannot say, I'm starting mixing these, and at the beginning already there is a cake as your product. So this is the product. So in the beginning, you have got more of these, but on the cake, there is zero cake. You don't have the cake because you are trying to what? To bake or to make the cake. So even here, at the beginning, there is nothing of hydrochloric acid, the product. Let me write it like this. Remember, I'm trying to revise with you. Here is the reactants. So that's what you're given, the ingredients. And then these is your product what you want to form all right so at the beginning there is nothing because you are starting but they gave you some hint let's read the statement there will be only something that they will give you later it says a chemical equilibrium is reached that the balanced equation is this and then they say um the equilibrium constant there is the thing now the statement the equilibrium constant kc for this reaction at this is 64 that's why it's nine marks this one involves x solving for x already they give you kc so now you know that kc is equal to what um here kc i can just write this as l kc is 64 a very important one there now what do you do you can say here let okay before i say let Let's start by, uh, can I go back and read there? Uh, 10 grams of these are here together. A chemical equilibrium is the balance equation of this. And then at equilibrium, the this, this, this. And then it says calculate the mass of the chlorine gas present at equilibrium. They want the mass of the chlorine. All right. So since we're focusing on chlorine, we can actually say let um the change in moles in chlorine be x let let the change or the equilibrium moles can i use the equilibrium moles let me see what can i use here is it equilibrium moles yes let the equilibrium moles of chlorine let the equilibrium we use equilibrium moles of Cl2 be equal to x. Are you with me? So what do I do? Equilibrium moles. 
in equilibrium. So I'm gonna make my x here. Uh, not really. No, 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 no. I don't want to make it there. Let the change. I think I was right in the first place. Let the change. Let the change. Let the change in moles of glory be x. Yes, that's the right one. Let the change here. We make it x because the ratio is here. Now look at this. Since this reaction is going this direction, where are we going? From left, from products to, I mean from reactants to products. You agree with me? Then it means initially you will have what? 5. But now when the change is happening, there is a negative. It starts going down. The change here is negative, it starts going down, but the chlor hydrochloric acid goes up, it's positive. As long as the reaction is going to the right, you must know it's negative on the reactants, it's positive on the products. All right, so what am I gonna have just here on 5 and x? So I'm gonna have an expression which says 5 minus x. See that because I need to find the equilibrium moles, subtract x from that but look ratios now the ratios apply hydrogen and chlorine what is the ratio one is to one so if this was x you expect this also to be x because it's one hydrogen is to one cl2 so if this is x this will be x i think that but there is another ratio the ratio here that is interesting is chlorine is to two uh, hcl let me write that ratio to say Cl2 is to HCl. The 1 is to 2. I think you can see from here. 1 chlorine is to 2 HCl. But what about X here? We've got X of this one. What will this one be? We put as we don't know that. You can see that when you cross multiply, it will be that will be whatever. Let's call it Cl2 will be what? Not Cl2, sorry. The HCl then. It will be 1 times HCl, so the HCl times 1 is equal to 2 times X, which is twice, you see. For every 1 chlorine molecule or moles, 1 mole of chlorine gives us 2 moles of HCl2. So X will give us 2X. It's similar to just, it's just a proportion thing. It's similar to say, if the proportion is for every one mole of chlorine, I get two moles of HCl. What if I have four moles of chlorine? If I get twice, which means it will be eight moles. If I get six, it will be 12. If I get, you multiply by two, you see? So you're saying here four times two, you're saying six times two. If I get X, you're saying two X, so it's two times X, okay? Do you see this proportion I'm talking about? So here, I just didn't want to write that. So you write here as 2x here. Are you following? Then that's it. Then after that, change in moles 5 minus x here. And then here, you have 0 plus 2x, which is 2x. Then finally, you come to the equilibrium concentration. What was the volume? Uh, they said it sealed in a what? in a 500 that it is 500 cubic centimeters be careful now 500 cubic centimeters you must change to dm cubed so you come here and say 500 cubic centimeter is equal to 500 over 1000 divided by 1000 dm cubed you see which is 0 0,5 dm cubed they wanted to catch you there so here you are going to then say this question is going to be 5 minus x over 0 0.5 remember c is n over v these are the moles 5 minus x over 0 0.5 2x over 0 0.5 all right then from here we find our kc expression how do you calculate kc they say here kc expression is concentration of products which is hcl raised their power it was two 
of a concentration of reactants which is hydrogen to the power one and Cl2 chlorine to the power one. That was this reaction. It was one, one and two. Are you with me? Now you start substituting. So what are you having? Five minus x over zero point five. Five minus x uh, over zero point five. Put that. What am I doing? I'm actually it's it's, it's concentration of HCl. I'm here. Sorry, two x over zero point five. I don't know. Why I'm writing that is two x because it's the top, which is two x over 0 0.5 squared right over now I can have my 5 minus x over 0 0.5 I was keen on writing that and then that is hydrogen to the power 1 and the other one is also uh, 5 minus x over 0 0.5 so it's more like squared now look Look what I'm going to write. Is it, remember, this is Kc. They gave me that that particular Kc was what? 64. They told us. We know already the value of Kc. So instead of having here Kc expression, I can now substitute and say this is actually 64. So guys, it's up to you how you solve for x here. That's all. So what I can do when I'm solving for x here, um, you can cross multiply simple, simpler. It's same as doing this. If I say over 1, it is same as multiplying by uh, this thing here. You multiply it by here so that you cancel out this. But what you do on the left, you do on the right. You also multiply by that thing there. But it's as good as cross multiplying, you know. What is cross multiplying? 1 multiplies that. 64 multiplies the bottom. See? So what you're going to have... You are going to say 64 by 5 minus x over 0 0.5 and you have 5 minus x over 0 0.5 is equal to when you multiply this funny power 5 power 2 squared when you multiply this Remember, it's same as 2x over 0 0.5, it's squared, and then you've got 2x over 0 0.5. That's what it means. There comes your maths now, all right? So when you do this, you're going to say um, 64. It's easy. You know, with maths, it's easy for me to cancel even this. The 0 0.5, 0 0.5, 0 0.5. I can do that. In maths, you can do that, all right? But let's not confuse some of you. Let's do this. What is 0, 0.5? 64, you can take the number and say 64 over 0 0.5 and 0 0.5 first. And then I multiply 5 minus x. 5 minus x is equal to, again, 2x, 2x is 4x squared over uh, 0 0.5 here 0 0.5 okay I already see what I'm gonna do so let's multiply both sides this time 0 0.5 and 0 0.5 when I told you that you can cancel look this is gone but what I do on the left I do on the right also 0 0.5 that's why I say you can cancel that see because there is an equal sign here so I also get rid of that so that is gone then I've got what 64 now let's open this five times these five times these you expand these and this five times five it's 25 five times x minus 5x minus 5x minus 10x minus x times x is plus x squared is equal to here you get your 4x squared then you continue open the bracket 64 times 25 am i right i can use that if i want oh is there anything that i can do yeah let me just open up remember 
I'm dealing with underdogs here, so I will take time. 65 times 25. It's 1,600. Yeah, so it's 1,600. 65 times this minus 640x plus 64x squared. Take this to the other side, minus 4x squared equal to 0. Now we can see that is 1,600 minus 640x, 64 minus 4x, x squared, x squared, it's 60. It's the same as saying 64 minus 4, it's 60x squared equal to 0. I didn't want to spend time on this thing, but it's taking time now. Divide by 10, divide by 10, divide by 10. What it do on the left, it do on the right. Why? I'm trying to get rid of these zeros. Alright, so it's 160 minus 64x plus 6x squared equal to 0. Write it in quadratic form. 6 x squared minus 64x you can further divide plus 160 equal to 0 but I will encourage you go straight to the quadratic equation where you're saying x is equal to minus b minus minus 64 plus or minus square root of b squared minus 64 in bracket squared minus 4a is 6 C is 160 all over 2A is 6. Then you get your answer quickly. Get two answers of uh, two values of x. Let's check what the calculator will give us there. So x is equal to minus bracket negative 64 plus square root of um, negative 64 squared minus 4 my a is 6 and then 160 is my c all over 2 and a is 6 i prefer going straight like that this is 20 over 3 is 6 comma 6 6 7 6 comma 6 7 and Minus six comma six seven and four six comma six seven x is equal to four. So I've got two answers, and remember one of them will be correct. So x is six comma six seven and x is equal to four. So you come here and make sense of it now. Where is it? Where is our table there? So remember x is six comma six seven. Let me write here. You've got two options, x is 6,67 or x is 4. But already, 6,67, something is off with it. What is off here? You cannot start with 5 and you take out 6 from 5. You see, this number is too big. You'll have a negative moles. It's not real life, eh? Whereby, you've got 5 minus 6,67 and then you say, I've got minus minus 5 grams, you can't have that. So that one is the one that was up. Are you seeing that? So the right answer there, you're going to say, you can come down here. Because you started with 5 moles. So you can come down there and say, therefore, here, you scratch that. Say x is equal to 4. By scratching that, you are trying to say, you are making sense of everything. x is equal to 4. So you are going to come back. The question, what was the question saying? The question says, calculate the mass of the chlorine gas present. Uh, the mass of the chlorine gas present at equilibrium. So there is the uh, moles of chlorine. Remember, we are now focusing on here. We can zoom here to say this particular table. You are going to say now moles. of Cl2 at equilibrium the equilibrium moles is 5 minus x is equal to let's take this here is equal to 5 minus x which is 5 minus 4 which is what 1 mole it was 1 mole then from here with 1 mole the question though want want the mass. 
Now remember the formula says what? N is M over big M. If I want a small M, what do I do? You, you multiply by M times M. So I've got now my small M is N times M. So my small m mass is number of mole 1 times the molar mass of chlorine, which is what? Which is uh, of Cl2. Remember, it's 35,5 times 2, which is equal to 1 times 71. It was 71, which is 71 grams. See, that's what we got even here. When we used uh, M of chlorine to 71, 35,5. When we say 35,2, 71 grams. So the answer there, funny, was 71 grams. All right, guys. All right, I didn't want to spend much time, but well, that's it. And then the reaction is now carried at a lower temperature. It is found that the KC value increases. Okay. They lower the temperature. Temperature goes down. And then what happens? They are saying it is found that the KC increases. Meaning that when you lower the temperature, the reaction goes forward like this. So when you lower the temperature and the reaction goes forward, you can just predict delta H. Delta H is endothermic. It's greater than zero. Why? Because, sorry, sorry, sorry. Let me, let me read. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Let me careful, careful, careful. Uh, what is it? It's calculated. Uh, the reaction is now carried at a lower temperature. Okay. You decrease the temperature. Temp, let me write this. Temperature goes down and the reaction moves this way. So which means the this reaction favors the endothermic. You understand? This reaction favors the endothermic. So now which reaction? Um it means the forward reaction is what? Is um if the reaction favors when you lower the temperature. The value of the Kc increases, meaning um, delta H. That's what they will actually be wanting. What is delta H here? If you are saying delta H is less than zero, and you are saying this reaction is exothermic, let's analyze that. Is it correct? Yes, because if I in if I lower the temperature, the reaction will move forward. But if I increase temperature here on an exothermic, the reaction will go backwards. So this reaction is exothermic. Why is it exothermic? Exothermic reaction, it means when I increase the temperature, the reaction goes backwards. But when I lower the temperature, the reaction goes forward. That's what exo means. Okay, put in another way, put in another way. If I lower the temperature and the reaction goes forward i increase the yield remember this increases when kc increases it means yeah this increases for me to increase that it means now remember kc they're saying that um the reaction is carried to lower temperature and the kc also goes up when kc go up it means the yield went up now what does a lower temperature means lower temperature means the reaction going um the KC is favoring the endothermic and then which one is the endothermic the endothermic reaction therefore will be going in this case when you talk about the lowering of the temperature this reaction is favoring what the endothermic are you with me so here we are saying delta H will be less than zero but let's look at the question is the heat of the reaction positive or negative? Use the Chitalia's principle to explain the answer. You see, that's where they wanted to catch me. They're saying, is the heat of the reaction positive? I say the heat of the reaction is what? It is negative. Then they say, I must use the Chitalia's principle to explain. So let me try to explain that now, using the Chitalia's principle. Number one, I'm saying, um, lowering the temperature uh, what did they say here this carried out at a lower temperature so when you lower the temperature the value of the KC the, it is found that KC value goes up 
Now remember what is KC? We just did find KC. KC is equal to products which was HCL squared. I just want to show you this over H squared. This is KC. Now when you lower the temperature, KC goes up. So actually what does it mean when I say KC goes up? It means this goes down and this goes, that's a fraction, this goes up. It means the reactants decrease and the products increase with what? Lowering of the temperature. That's what they're saying. Explain now what is actually happening. So we are going to say now lowering the temperature favors the what the forward reaction reaction that's the first part all right and then number two then you're going to say the forward reaction is exothermic and then the reverse reaction is what is endo is endothermic that's what they will be hunting there I didn't write in for is endothermic forward reaction is exothermic reverse reaction is endothermic now uh, according to Lee Chatelier, according to Lee Chatelier principle, I'll say Prince. According to Lee Chatelier principle, a decrease in temperature will cause the exothermic side to be favored okay to be favored so according to Lee Chatelier's principle a decrease in temperature remember temperature is going down will cause the exothermic side to be favored so as to produce to produce more heat more heat to counter the change so the reaction will produce more heat to counter the change meaning the forward one was exothermic remember the forward one is producing heat you lower the temperature the forward one produces heat so that's what is happening so this was not necessary but the other one uh, was helping there says the pressure of the container is increased without affecting the temperature how will the following be affected so the pressure of the container is increased without affecting the temperature how will the following uh, be affected now increasing the pressure temperature as long as the temperature is not changed the yield of HCl let's look at this pressure now whenever you're talking about the yield and you're looking at pressure look at these ratios 1 is to 1 is to 2 so what if 2 moles this side and then this side what do you have 2 moles so when you've got 2 moles and 2 moles pressure does not do anything it won't change anything so here pressure uh, the yield of this it will remain the same all right why because even if you increase the pressure and the uh, left hand side the moles on the left hand side they cause the moles on the right and nothing happened the value of the kc again here remains the same kc is only affected by temperature not other uh, uh reaction conditions so its temperature is only the one that affects kc are you with me guys so that is that now what do you think can I go on to this one? 
First, I go home to this one, the Eastern Cape one. If you agree, okay, let's do it. Let's look at this one. Let's try to be as quick as possible. The following reversible reaction can be used to demonstrate how certain factors influence chemical reaction. Okay, then they give us this CO uh, cobalt tetrachloride blue and then co uh, hydrated cobalt here. This is cobalt, this pink plus 4HCl. De de define the term reversible reaction. What is a reversible reaction? It is a reaction that can what? That can form what? Reactants from products, is it? So it's a reaction that can form reactants from products. See, you know, that goes in both directions. Yeah, it's a reaction that goes in both directions, but say a reaction that forms that can form reactants from products. You see, so it can go backwards. So initially the solution is blue. So initially, write down either tends more blue or tends more pink to describe what happens to the reaction mixture. If CO L is added, so they add this one. This one goes up. According to Lichetelier's principle, the reaction will go this direction. So it will get more pink. So here, more pink. All right. Concentration of HCl is added. Now again, okay, let's remove this. Concentration now, remember if you are adding HCl, the only thing you are doing is bringing Cl, uh, Cl minus. That's where it is. So here, these will go up. So when these go up, what do you, what, what do you see happening? When these go up, the reaction is forced now to go according to Lichatelier's principle, that direction. So it turns more blue. Okay, because of Lee Atelier's principle. All right. Says so the next one says the test tube containing the reaction mixture is, is placed in hot water bath. It is observed that the solution becomes more blue. Hot water bath. You see, hot. They put it in a hot water bath, meaning they increase here. They increase temp temperature. If they are increasing temperature, where does the reaction go? So let me come back here on the analysis. So if temperature increases, the reaction goes backwards, meaning this reaction releases heat. Delta H is less than zero. You increase temperature in an exon. This is an exothermic reaction. If you try to increase temperature in an exothermic reaction, meaning a reaction that produces heat and it goes backwards, that's what it means here. Is the fourth reaction endothermic and exothermic? You see, it's exothermic. Why? Because you don't, I mean, you don't increase temperature in an exothermic reaction and the reaction continues forward. If it's exo and you add temperature, it goes back. It means the, the backward reaction is the end. So what are they saying? Is the forward reaction? No, it is exo. Explain the answer by referring to Lee Chatelier's principle. Then you can simply say here, number one, increase in temp favors tell us because they say it, it gets blue so you tell us favors a uh, reverse reaction and then you say tell us now what does what is the reverse reaction reverse reaction is what is endo they need to hear that tell us even if it's obvious tell us that the reverse reaction is endo thermic and then the added heat is absorbed that's what the reaction is the, the reverse reaction does the reaction uh, is absorbed by the what by the endothermic side that's it that's nothing so this is the key thing number one guys the reverse reaction the, the this reaction favors the reverse reaction and the reverse reaction is too much is endothermic and the added temperature is absorbed by the endothermic the, the, it wasn't it wasn't much there then it says uh 3.01 times 10 to the power 23 molecules of n2o4 um, are sealed in a 4 dm cube container and then heated to that the following balance equation represents the reaction 
uh, that which is equilibrium in a phone container this and that okay at the equilibrium it is found that 0 comma 4 mole of this has decomposed to this calculate the equilibrium constant of that eight max okay guys you know what i do with casey come up with a rice table so what are they doing here let's do this is n it's a common one n 204 is nitrogen dioxide let me write this it's n 204 it's a common reaction this one it's 2NO2 that's it it's a very common reaction and then they always uh, time and again bring this so let's come back with our our rice table okay I don't know why I didn't I take this to the full down there okay let's do this okay I'm, 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 I'm trying to have my need to be four then the other one at the bottom right like this so let's have my rice here a uh, ratio initial moles a uh, change in mole equilibrium mole and then equilibrium concentration let me just that's where we want to go equilibrium equilibrium concentration c is n over v now having done that let's look at the ratio what is the ratio first things first it's one is to two see one is to two you agree with me that's the ratio let's look it's balanced here that's a balanced equation one is to two and then a few things that thing 3.01 times 10 by uh, two molecules of this are sealed so this is initially this this is initially at the beginning they gave us that but they gave us in terms of molecules now um I just don't have my formulas here, but I would encourage you to go to your formulas and we have um, this uh, this formula just uh, I'm just using now Okay, I just don't have my question here My formulas, but look at this just go to your formulas and identify this in your in your data sheet this one uh, What does it say here? I'll write it down there is this one where you are given the avocado number. Remember the avocado Na is equal to what? 6.02 times 10 to the power 23. These are molecules or atoms, whatever. And then they gave us their N in this S is 3,01 times 10 to the power 23. So now there is a formula. That is connecting these two. What does it say? It say n is equal to n over n a. Stay in your formulas. Check your formulas. So my n is three comma zero one times ten to the power twenty three over six comma zero two times ten to the power twenty three. All right. Then you can now use that to find um. The number of moles times 10 to the power 23 over 3.01 times 10 to the power 23 okay why am i doing it like this i was supposed to do it the other way around to say here sorry about that is 3.01 and then at the bottom it's what 6.02 am i right i was doing this this is 0 0.5 moles of what of n 204 because that's what they started this of that so now initially we've got what 0 0.5 moles so i'll come here initially i have 0, 0,5 remember here I've got 0 at the beginning 
Now, did they give me something here to tell me what happened? And then 4 dm cubed, so that is good. We know the volume is there. This is our V. And then the following balanced equation, fine, fine, fine now. Then they're saying at equilibrium, at equilibrium, there is this statement, at equilibrium. It is found that 0, 0,4 mole of this, 0, 0,4 moles there, it's 0, 0,4 moles, have decomposed, okay, now be careful now, have decomposed to, see, I think they will trick there, decompose. So, which means 0, 0,4 moles of this, has, what is to decompose? Um, it has vanished, I can use that type of word, it has changed, to decompose means it has changed, it has vanished, it has converted, so 0, 0,4 mole has converted to what? To this, so this is used, decomposed has been used, so 0, 0,4 mole of this has been used guys, it has been used up. So be careful now when you come here. If 0, 0,4 mole has been used, it's not the change. 0, 0,4 moles have been used. Now the question is, what is remaining? So you started with what? You started with, uh, that's very good. Initially, uh, initial mole of N204 is equal to 0, 0,5. The used one is equal to 0, 0,4. Left, you see what was left? You subtract 0, 0,1 was left. Hence, here the at equilibrium, that's what was left here, 0, 0,1. That's where they wanted to change everything. So the change in moles, you can see this is negative, this is positive. So that's where you have your 0, 0,4 there. So if it's 0, 0,4, remember 1 is to 2, I've done the ratio. If one for every one molecule of N2O4, you get twice. So here you multiply 0, 0,4 times 2 is 0, 0,8. Are you with me? So you are adding 0 plus 0, 0,8 is 0, 0,8. C is N over V. So we come here to say C is equal to N, which is 0, 0,1 over V. It was 4. I think I remember highlighting for the 4 dm cubed you see and the other one is what is 0, 0,8 over 4 what is the answer all right if we do that and say 0, 0,1 over 4 0, 0,025 and 0, 0,8 over 4 mm, 0, 0,2 all right so with that what do we do we find kc the question what was the question saying calculate the equilibrium constant kc so you come and say uh, my kc here is equal to concentration of re of products NO2 remember it was two of it over N2O4 to the power one which is equal to what? 0 comma 2 squared over this one which is 0 comma 1 over 4 which is what? 0, 0,025 and then when you do that it will give us the Kc what is the Kc? 0, 0,2 squared still the same but 0, 0,025 then the Kc is going to be what? am I right? 0, 0,2 over 0, 0 is 1,6 that's the Kc so now moving on here okay so that was that okay that was that kc so guys that is it and as i said i wanted to bring this all together at once but now the left one is this one the kzn one also join me now in the third video i'm going to show you this one it's 21 marks you don't want to lose this also in the final exam join me thank you